Today I'm going to talk to you about the topic called the inclusion of digital advertising in your ecosystems. I started working in the, this field um, about five years ago for HP Italy for uh, Telecom Italia customer. Telecom Italia is one of the biggest uh, telco company in Italy. Today it has uh, it something like uh, 25 million subscribers only on the mobile side. In HP we developed uh, a realized uh, system, uh, HP DAT, uh, which stands for uh, Digital Advertising Tool, uh, which uh, that is a system that uh, capable uh, was more features are campaign planning, content reduction, and um, targeting selection of customer base based on cluster uh, basis where uh, a cluster is a set of uh, subscribers identified by uh, some attributes like uh, age, gender, location, and so on. Last year, Telecom Italia asked us to evolve this system to, uh, for loyalty management. So we realized the HP loyalty management system. A brief look at the summary of uh, this uh, presentation. I will uh, talk to you about the business opportunity which led, uh, led us uh, to the development of this uh, solution. Next to the overall scenario of this uh, solution, to the uh, software, uh, uh, um, to the application architecture of the HP uh, loyalty manager system, and how we implemented uh, it using WSO2 and uh, J2E services uh, stack uh, framework. And finally, to the deployment in our uh, production environment. So let's talk about uh, the business opportunity. At the middle of the last year, uh, Telecom Italia uh, and uh, Intesa San Paolo, which, uh, which is the uh, first bank, uh, first, uh, um, bank company in Italy launched a uh, uh, co branded private card service, Team Smart Pay Card. The Smart Pay has um, two different natures. It is uh, a standard protected plastic visa card and also an NFC, near field communication card, available deliverable on, NF on subscriber NFC SIM card. It, uh, so it enables proximity payments for uh, enabled NFC POS visa circuit, in addition to the standard one. In this slide you can see the mobile app, which um, is available to uh, Telecom Italia subscriber, Team Wallet application, it is available on Android and uh, iOS devices. Through this app, final customer is able to select the Team Smart Pay NFC service and to install on its uh, SIM on its uh, SIM card. The Team Wallet application is um, an um, is an app for uh, is a portfolio is a portfolio which can host multiple services for the Telecom Italia subscribers. So, uh, associated to this service, uh, Telecom Italia and Tele San Paolo wanted to start uh, a program, a loyalty program, and because they wanted to uh, rapidly increase their customer, their Team, Spa, Team Smart Pay customer base. Generally speaking, a loyalty program is uh, enabled, is, um, the main pay, is associated with the payment services because it, uh, able to, it is able to attract new customers uh, through the adoption of a specific loyalty programs. It enables, it um, guarantees to exploit new opportunities of customer engagement, and uh, it encourages customers to keep coming back to the service. And uh, it also they are also use of the program, uh, program, uh, program services and program uh, cards to maximize the sales of goods and market share by new marketing initiatives. Uh, consider that um, this smart pay is uh, only one of the loyalty programs that the uh, Italia uh, wanted to host on uh, its platform. He asked us to realize a more generic platform that is able to host in, um, a, um, 
said what was that there are several merchants in a multi-tenancy fashion and where each merchant can, can, have, can, can have his its own royalty card. So we, uh, here we have the um, overall scenario of this solution. Uh, there are main, uh, the main actors, uh, the tech operator, the first actor which uh, provisions merchants, uh, award providers uh, and the customers uh, on the HP Royalty Manager uh, system. So um, we have the uh, subscriber uh, which by goods uh, on merchant sites uh, or on uh, physical uh, shops and uh, award providers uh, which are available and are provisioned on the HP Loyalty Manager system which uh, provide their uh, awards catalog. And uh, the, um, all the, the, the user, the subscriber, uh, uh, communicates and integrates uh, uh, so, sorry, the Apple uh, um, Android app uh, Team Wallet application uh, and, uh, um, specifically loyalty application, communicates with the mobile payment system, which is also an HP system, HP mobile payment, hosted always on the Telecomitalia um, infrastructure to, to enable payment services. And in this solution we have also the Acquire Bank, that in this case is Antidio San Paolo, which also offers the final service, the things must pay card. And uh, the Quire Bank is a director that makes uh, payment uh, transactions uh, available to the HP Loyalty Manager system. Uh, finally, the subscriber can redeem rewards uh, and uh, check its uh, loyalty basket uh, directly with the HP Loyalty Manager system. This is a more detailed description of the overall uh, business flow and uh, user customer uh, experience. So in uh, step one, we have the payment experience where the subscriber uh, um, is, um, is buying uh, on a merchant site or physical shops and uh, it, it can use or um, the kit can use Team Smart Pay, uh, plastic card or the NFC side or NFC counterpart of the same card. Uh, the bank the payment transaction are recorded on all on the bank, and they are uh, and uh, then bank in San Paolo makes all these transactions available for ingestion to the HP loyalty manager. Specifically in step two, the, is uh, it is the WSO2 ESB which acquires uh, payment transactions data from uh, bank as a comma separated value file and uh, it operates some transformations on, the, on all the transactions uh, recorded on um, the file. So first the transformation is from uh, CSV format to the XML format and later on on the SOAP envelope because uh, in the step in the following step, step three, the ESB the ESB a component uh, will call the BPS, Contact Value BPS uh, system for each transaction registered in the on file. And um, in, the, in the business process server, uh, orchestrates uh, business services available on JPOS or servers server. We are uh, several uh, services developed on the business, uh, on the, uh, business services uh, layer, uh, check loyalty basket, uh, create loyalty basket, evaluate loyalty rules. Uh, one of the most important uh, services is uh, evaluate uh, loyalty rules because it uses uh, uh, dynamic rules uh, available on the rules engine to evaluate, uh, to dynamically evaluate these uh, loyalty, loyalty rules. The business project server WSO2 BPS also uh, orchestrates uh, legacy telco system services. Uh, today we are uh, this, um, in this process we are uh, integrates uh, we, we integrates uh, uh, two three services on the telco system. And uh, finally, the step four in the step four the, uh, the HP loyalty system periodically evaluates a customer. Uh, 
basket against the rules, the world rules, to deliver, if this is the case, the final, um, final uh, bonus awards, uh, in this case they are bonus credit, to the subscribers. This is the application architecture of the system. We have the presentation layer for uh, divided uh, with the uh, internet, ch in internet channel and for the internet web and mobile channel. On the internet channel, uh, we have classic uh, user interface applications like the um, admin user interface, the marketing console, which will uh, which. Uh, uh, let uh, marketing people uh, to realize uh, loyalty campaigns, uh, to get loyalty campaigns, the uh, customer care and the customer care, uh, customer care console. On the presentation layer uh, for the internet, we have uh, API for the mobile uh, applications, so the words catalog and the loyalty, uh, loyalty um, account API because the, uh, the subscriber uh, needs to check its uh, loyalty account and to uh, browse the award catalog and to redeem awards on the award catalog. We have a backend layer, uh, the service orchestrator uh, implemented uh, with uh, as a people on the BPS system, the loyalty engine uh, uh, which exposes uh, some um, web services like create loyalty account, check loyalty account and so on. The real engine uh, uh, that is implemented uh, to, the, the roots, uh, engine, uh, to the, the roots engine, the inventory manager, promotion engine and the event processing. Uh, on the inventory side, we have people processes. In this case, we have uh, one people for the system, so but we uh, already use it and develop and other people processes for other uh, advertising solutions for always for uh, Telecom Italia. The world providers, members, uh, merchants, and the loyalty cards. On the integration layers, uh, we are integrating. Um, we are uh, uh, integration. Uh, we have integrations with the, the bank through the SFT, SFTP uh, file. Uh, mobile API we, that we expose to the mobile applications on Android and uh, iOS and the Telco Systems uh, API because every, every time that the user, um, uh, every time that we create a loyalty account for the user, we need to communicate it also on the Telecom Italia service provisioning system, which is a legacy system in, uh, in Telecom. And the service layer with loyal inventory services, our services and provisioning. This is a, um, this is a, um, uh, it is a, um, entity that, uh, business data model of the system. We have a merchant, uh, which, uh, merchant, uh, where each registered merchant can deliver one or more loyalty cards. The world provider, uh, which provides uh, each world catalog, each catalog, each world catalog to the telco, to the, uh, to the telco, uh, loyalty, loyalty rules. The award, um, catalog, uh, catalog awards represented on system, and the customer uh, events, where the uh, generic event can be used to update one or more loyalty card. Like um, we can have uh, events like uh, product purchase, advertising event, click through impressions, uh, uh, interactive SMS subscription. Today we are uh, manage uh, only the, uh, for the loyalty uh, service uh, only product purchase, but the uh, platform is already open for the other uh, for the other events. Um, because we already have uh, on the advertising solutions in Telecom other events that we can manage on the platform. Basically, like other CSV files on the platform, which can be ingested to the ESB system. How we realize the it? On the ESB um, component, uh, we didn't develop a single line of code. We realize the pipeline using uh, the proxy service already available on the ESB uh, side and uh, several mediators that we uh, use it like uh, codes. So we have the proxy service which periodically, which periodically calls the SFTP shared area 
to check if a new payment uh, flow is coming from the bank. So you have a MOOCs mediator which uh, is responsible for the um, uh, transformation from CSV to an XML payload and in excess of the team mediator because this XSML payload has to be transformed to a swap and a lop. And finally, an iterator mediator which we use to iterate across all payment transactions coming from the bank. And we didn't send, we don't send each swap envelope directly to the BPS system. We use a message store mediator and a message sending processor for reliable delivery. So first we enqueue the SOP message on an active and queue JMS queue. And then with the message sending processor we send it to the BPS server, to the BPS process, at a configurable sample rate, sampling interval and the number of messages to, to pick. Then we have the BPS component. On the, this side, there is the loyalty people service that orchestrates to, dif, to distant families of web services. Local job boss web services that we have developed from scratch from this, from this system and the Telco Legacy Web Services to activate and dispatch information about customer activation of loyalty card service. There is a um, brief description of the Jabos web, of the web services that we developed for uh, this solution. Uh, so we have the check loyalty basket the service that checks uh, every, every time we a process a payment transaction for the user, it checks if the user is already provisioned or not on the system. If the user is already provisioning, we go on with the evaluate loyalty routes. So we uh, decide if we can assign loyalty points to the user, to the users, uh, to the user or not. And we make it uh, using loyalty routes uh, developed with uh, the routes, uh, as, uh, as the routes uh, rule. And um, uh, there is a track payment transaction we track uh, on the system uh, each transaction coming from the, the bank uh, for security reason and for uh, historical data. And uh, evaluate loyalty rules, uh, evaluate award rules. We have distinct award rules which uh, decide typically uh, with the threshold value if we can assign uh, a award to the, to the customer, to the subscriber, and if you can uh, deliver uh, a credit bonus to, to him. <coughs> so we have the deployment uh, diagram on this uh, solution. Basically, we have uh, three different uh, DIM and Z zones, a uh, front-end zone, back-end zone, and a uh, database zone. On the front-end zone, we have uh, a cluster of uh, ESB, uh, of two ESB instances, which communicated to the SFTP shared area and process the payment transactions coming from the, the bank. Then we are, and uh, they communicate also with the um, uh, BPS uh, instances on the same front end uh, nodes. Then we have the two apart two active uh, two Apache active MQ instances. They are they are not in cluster. They are independent, right? so they are local to the physical uh, node that we use together with the, the uh, ESB to reliable uh, delivery. And uh, we have a cluster of uh, two. BPS uh, instances and uh, which, communi which uh, communicate uh, on uh, with the, the two JBoss with the cluster of JBoss VIP services on the front end layer and also with the two JBoss on the back end layer. They communicate also with the Telecom Italia uh, service provisioning system to uh, communicate, to notify. Um, use a loyalty service activation to, uh, the, to that system. And uh, finally we have the cluster of the two JBoss um, instances which uh, expose services to the BPS but also to the mobile uh, applications on XML HTTPS protocol. 
Uh, we also and a um, couple on the database layer. We have a, we have a cluster, a, a cluster of two Oracle 11 uh, nodes, which host uh, both uh, application uh, for users uh, for the JBoss counterpart and also for the the ESR BPS users, working working users. Because people are stored all on Oracle database. And why we choose an AWS uh, First of all, for the service orchestration feature to enable complex scenarios. In our case, a customer asked us a solution to orchestrate not only uh, services developed uh, from scratch, but also legacy, uh, but also services available on legacy systems. So the inter for another reason is the enterprise service bus for data flow processing and data conversion transformation. We didn't uh, develop any single line of code, and on this system it is simple to add another merchant or to host another bank and process uh, other uh, data flows similar to that that we are already processing, uh, we are already processing today. The integration telco for integration telco legacy systems, as we have, uh, as I have already say, said, and uh, support for several production environments. WSO2 was, uh, um, was one of the, perhaps the only uh, software architecture that supports uh, Red Hat Linux and also uh, IBM AIX. Support uh, and uh, not so expensive other uh, requirements. Uh, if we compare uh, WSO2 other requirements with uh, other uh, um, with the other competitors like uh, Oracle and um, uh, and IBM, we are uh, we are on uh, really on different uh, plans like uh, pricing and like uh, and uh, also on uh, other uh, requirements and. Uh, Availability of this support for a rapid evaluation of ESP and VPS and the production environment. WSO2 uh, give, uh, give us a uh, first evaluation support, they assist us on the production environment with a free evaluation support. And uh, they guarantee us a delivery on uh, this uh, on this environment. And for future uh, evolution, we are also interested in KPI on business processes with a clear identification of integration points, uh, points with telco legacy systems. Customer uh, is asking us uh, KPI, but and it is uh, um, uh, really interested to, to, und to understand which are the step in uh, where the where the process uh, is more uh, slow or is slower or is faster. Okay, thank you for the... Uh